You are watching the third video in a new series as my dad and I ride two rented motorcycles from San Francisco to Seattle. This thousand mile journey along the wondrous Pacific Coast Highway has already been an adventure. Before we leave California and enter Oregon, I take some time to enjoy the ocean and stop at Pelican Beach. We know we can't stay too long and need to travel to Coos Bay, Oregon before nightfall. Pelican Beak. No, we're here at Pelican Beach. <laughs> it's a marine protected area. So that means we're going to leave everything here except for the stuff we like. Really? Just kidding. <laughs> All right. But this is a fly worthy zone. So I may launch the drone out into the ocean. Oh yeah, this is nice. It's all part of the surroundings. Oh. Okay. Fascinating location. I think people are leaving behind more than they're taking. We stop at Pelican Beach, the most northern California beach, before crossing into Oregon. This beach is fairly remote and mostly unknown because the access road is easy to miss. Here you'll find driftwood and grassy dunes. The ocean views are spectacular. In this area the climate can change between cool and rainy during the winter to nice and sunny during the summer months.
Feels like I should be getting wet right now, but uh, this gigantic redwood stump is just sitting in the water. And the water's just going out and around it, but it's not, not getting to me. But every so often a pretty big wave comes up. Passes the stump. Just gotta keep an eye on that because some of these waves, it looks like earlier today, were getting pretty high. Probably high enough they were washing up and over the top of this log. But not in this tide. Whoa. As we left behind Pelican Beach and headed north on Highway 101, we crossed through some breathtaking landscapes on our way to Gold Beach. The turns and frequent crosswinds reminded us we were barely hanging on to these motorcycles before being bucked off into a deep ravine or missing a turn above the ocean. It's these moments when we have to appreciate the blessings we have, the strengths of our backs, our sight to see the beauty before us, the smell of sea air and wooded pine. We take a venture into the unknown, pressing for something that gives us meaning and purpose. We become stronger and find greater joy when we felt the opposition of weakness and immense despair. Only then can we appreciate the difference and hold on to what brings us happiness and joy between the sorrow. Motorcycling is about as close to flying, but with induced gravity rather than lift. We appear above the sea and towering above the trees, and at times we cower at the feet of the great redwoods and pine as the sun glistens between the branches. This is why we took this trip. This is why we did it together to see and feel and experience the same adventure at this time and these places. It's time to reminisce the past, seemingly not that long ago. Oregon. Beautiful spot here. I remember being here years ago when my kids were younger. And it still looks the same. We stopped briefly at a turnout near Myers Creek Beach. Here if the tide is just right you can venture out into the dark sandy beach between the rocks and see what the ocean has left behind. On this occasion, we don't see much, but it was a good rest from the constant turns and strong ocean winds. A hole in the rock right there. Oh. This is like a death trap. You better watch out. Moments like these make me reflect on the time long spent. Over the years, my dad has had many experiences and accomplished many things. 
Now he's retired and had his fair share of physical and ailments, like replaced shoulders and knees. I've been to this place before, many years ago, when my kids were little. Now they're grown up and out doing their own thing. Will they look at me the same way I look at my dad? I too will eventually become the retired guy with a replaced knee or shoulder cuff. I hope that day is still long distant, but I know it will come quickly. Uh -oh. For now, let's just enjoy this moment. It's going to trap us. This is classic Oregon right here. Big rocks out in the sea. Look at the wind. You don't usually get to see the wind. Uh oh. That's gonna get us. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was a good one. We need to address a serious problem with our night's reservation at a motel in Coos Bay, Oregon. We look forward to staying in this unique and industrious town. Unfortunately, the room we were supposed to stay in had a strange smell, it didn't come with towels and soap, and the mattress must have come from a dumpster because I believe the smell came from them. Appalled by the conditions of the room, we decided to bail out and head down the street looking for better accommodations. Thankfully, with short notice, we did find a better location until I found out my credit card had been compromised and needed to be closed. I did not expect this trip to be flawless. We both decided, as long as we remained safe, everything else was just part of the memories. We had already lost two days due to my 24-hour bug at the beginning of the trip and downed one of the motorcycles. Now we were facing more unexpected setbacks. But we both just absorbed the situation and moved on. So we're here in North Bend, Oregon. Coos, Coos, something. Uh, we're gonna be heading off to get some breakfast and begin going north along the beach towards Seaside. And it's been a great time. We were starting to kind of figure this out a little bit. Uh, day one was a little rough, day two was better this is what we look like now remember us
I knew the Oregon Dunes were ahead of us. I wanted to spend some time there observing the amazing terrain with my dad. So we're here at a place called Hull in Schutpelz and it's right next to the dunes just north of uh, North Bend, Coos Bay and we're gonna see if we can hike around to the other side uh, check out the lake a little bit more and uh, go stand on the dunes side just a really really cool combination of two different landscapes between forest and beautiful sand dunes. Typically hills of sand like this are found in hot arid climates but this dune happened to be next to the ocean with frequent strong winds mixed with cooler more humid air. The combination didn't seem to make sense but here we were in this wondrous and iconic place with a forest next to a dune and sandwiched in between was Hall Lake. Climbing up the steep dune behind Hall Lake was a difficult task as the sand slid down the hillside behind every step. Oh my gosh, this sand, this sand is so fine. I'm just having a hard time trying to get, trying to get up it. One step goes back half a step. Oh. <laughs> it's brutal. Might be easier to go over here. And then over here where the sand has got more root. We eventually made it to the top and took in the view. I thought I would climb higher and try to go up the edge of the dune to get a better look of the ocean and the surrounding landscape. Oh, this is incredible.
try. Oh, I don't want to lose my batteries. This is one way to get down. This was a great adventure spending part of day two and day three with my dad at Pelican Beach and Oregon Dunes. We're just getting warmed up as we head to Florence, Oregon for some lunch. Afterwards, we stopped to check out the infamous Sea Lion Caves on part four of our motorcycle ride from San Francisco to Seattle on the Pacific Coast Highway. <laughs>